Scientists in Australia have found an 8-centimeter-long live parasitic roundworm inside a woman's brain, marking the first time the parasite has been discovered inside a human. 호주 과학자들이 한 여성의 뇌 속에서 8cm 길이의 살아있는 기생충을 발견했습니다. 이 기생충은 회충의 일종으로 사람 몸에서 확인된 건 이번이 처음입니다. 얼마나 놀랬겠어요. 여러 가지 증상이 먼저 나타났을 것 같아요. Yeah. 뭐 이런 회충이라고는 상상을 못 했겠지만 what happened? Well, it says that she was suffering from um, diarrhea and and headaches and lots of other, you know, ailments. Mm. Um, abdominal pain. Abdominal pain and yeah. then she started suffering from memory loss yeah. as well, which is why they took her to the hospital to find out what's going on and they did an MRI mm. and found this live It, they said it was wriggling. <laughs> exactly. I don't think the doctors were expecting that. No, I don't think they were expecting that mm. at all. So they found this round worm. Mm -hmm. It was eight centimeters long. That's we're not talking huge. about millimeters. We're talking centimeters. And it's the first time that something like this has been uh, found in a human body because mm. they're usually found in carpet pythons. And snakes. They, yeah, that's right. So they think that she might have gotten this. They Apparently, she lives in an area that um, have these carpet pythons. Right. And she was outside looking for, you know, sometimes people look for food yeah, outside, yeah. Uh, which uh, I, maybe you shouldn't do. <laughs> right, right. It's not safe. Mm. Um, so she was looking for food outside, and they think it might have been infected <sighs> there. Yeah. 그래요. 사실 처음에 병원을 찾은 거는 2021년이었다고 합니다. 그때 당시에 diarrhea, 설사, abdominal pain, 복통, 그 다음에 dry cough, 마른 기침, 그리고 열, fever, 그 다음에 밤중 식은땀, night sweats, mm. 이런 것 때문에 병원을 찾았대요. 요즘에 왜 이럴까요, 선생님? Mm. 그러다가 이제 2022년이 되니까 거기에다가 plus, depression, 우울증에다가 mm. 또 forgetfulness, 어, 이... 저기 건망증까지. Yeah. 제가 지금 방금 잊어버릴 뻔했네요. 이게 뭔지. <웃음> Forgetfulness. So, I mean, you know, 네. you would think uh, people get people. Mm. Uh, I mean, I've experienced this, but yeah. I get forget. I mean, I'm forgetful all the time. But if you have all of this going on at the same, at the time, same time, yeah, that's a bit you strange, start to isn't wonder it? what's going on. 그렇죠. 그래서 이제 병원을 꾸준히 다닌 거예요. 병원에서도 어, 이상하다. 왜 동시에 이렇게 많은 yeah. 증상들이 일어나지? MRI scan 한번 돌립시다. 해서 봤는데 깜. 짱 놀란 겁니다. 아니 뭐야 이 살아있는 꿈틀거리는 it's wriggling, right? Yeah. 기생충 roundworm이라고 했는데요. 이제 기생충입니다. Yeah. 그게 발견이 됐다라고 해요. 그런데 살고 있는 지역이 주변에 그런 이제 어, 나무와 숲과 이런 게좀 많다 보니까 어쩌면 밖에서 mm -hmm. 어, 좀 활동을 하다가 뭐 어떻게 몸 안으로 그런 기생충이 들어온 게 아닐까 이렇게 추정이 된다는데. 발견했으니까 yeah. 네 지금은 또 건강하겠죠. I hope so. I let's hope look at, so. Yeah, <laughs> let's look at the expressions. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, it's a parasitic live parasitic roundworm. So parasitic is, you know, it's a parasite. Uh, so basically, it's it's something that you have to have a host. Yeah. So this roundworm basically would not survive mm. if, if it was left out outside. So mm. it has to have some kind of host to get food from it and live inside of it. 좋아. 그... 숙주라고 하죠. 우리가 mm -hmm. host. Yep. Uh, parasite라는 단어 뭐 우리가 봉준호 감독님 덕분에 너무나 익숙한데 yep. 여기서는 parasitic라는 형용사가 쓰였습니다. 기생하는 이라는 뜻이에요. Mm -hmm. 그래서 그런 이제 기생충이 발견이 된 것이고 This marks the first time that this parasite has been found inside a human. That's right. So yeah. marking the first time yeah. means it's the first time that something has happened. Mm. Uh, so, you know, we all have the first time to do something. Mm. So I was thinking back, you know, what would be a good example sentence for this? And I was thinking, oh, the first time I drove. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an experience that a lot of people can't forget. So mm. this marks the first first time he drove on his own. Mm, the first time marking it that mm -hmm. uh, showing something, representing something, yep. 뭔가 보여준다는 의미가 있어서 특히 right. 뉴스에서는 이번이 뭐 사상 최초의 right. 아니면 뭐 초유의 뭐뭐입니다 할때 it marks the first time 이런 식으로 얘기를 많이 하죠. 그래서 marking the first time that it's been found inside a human. 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. Scientists in Australia have found 
an eight centimetre long, live parasitic roundworm inside a woman's brain, marking the first time the parasite has been discovered inside a human.